Blair Caldwell is at Heritage Hills, where they've got a chance for you to not only saddle up, but ride the historic trails. Blair, what's going on? I'm telling you what, Vicki, there is all kinds of stuff happening this morning. It's early, but these horses are up and at them this morning. They're getting their morning grains and hay. And I'm telling you, I'm already fascinated and intrigued, but we're going to spend all morning here figuring out what they do here at Heritage Hills. They have 13 different horses that help people learn how to ride from beginning level all the way up to experts. And I'm pretty sure these guided tours that they offer through their hundreds of acres through Ishpeming and Nagani help you kind of ease into the process and get to looking like a pro, which maybe they're going to to teach me how to maybe try. I don't know if it'll be successful, but I, I know you know how to ride Vicky, so we're gonna see how that goes later this morning. Stick with us. We'll tell you all about what they've got to offer here at Heritage Hills in Ishpeming. Reporting live, Blair Caldwell, TV6 News. Uh, we're gonna try and take pictures for you too, Vicky, because okay. they're pretty awesome. <laughs> they are awesome. Thanks. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Blair. And Welcome back 11 after. So this morning we thought we'd uh, horse around just a little bit. We decided to head out to Heritage Hills in Ishpeming to learn about what they do. TV6's Blair Caldwell is there, so we want to know how they got started and how can we uh, get out there on a horse? Blair? <laughs> Well, Vicki, you're in luck because here they've got all kinds of options, guided rides even throughout the day, several different times, all kinds of stuff. Joining me live this morning, we got Big John over here who is enjoying his morning hay. Let's, let's, how is the, you know what, John, tell us how is this hay today? I think he's a little preoccupied, so we're going to enter his human here, Joni, who is the owner here at Heritage Hills. Talk to me a little bit about kind of what do you guys do here, when, how'd you get started, and, and how's it going? Well, it's going really good. We've been very, very busy. Um, we started in 2010, so this is actually our sixth riding year. And uh, so we do all kinds of things. We take out guided rides. We have kids camps. We do birthday parties, uh, little kids hand-led pony rides, just for starters. <laughs> and you guys are able to work with any type of rider, someone who's never touched a horse even, right? Oh, yeah. We have some very gentle horses, and they are out ridden every day. They're used to the trails. They are basically big babysitters. <laughs> Talk to us a little bit about how many horses you guys have and, and how long is the ride. Talk to us a little about the specifics of maybe what you could expect if you come. Well, we have 13 horses all together. We don't ride all of them. I have a horse that's retired. I have a very young horse. Um, but between that many we can pretty much set up anybody um, a bigger person a smaller person a young child um, we can do a walking ride we can do a little bit of a trot a little bit of a canter if if they're experienced enough for that um, our rides are an hour long we uh, also do a few two-hour rides I, I like people to be able to to have ridden with me before to do the two hour ride because some of our trails can be a little bit more challenging up and down hills and and steering. We're, we're not really the nose to tail type. We're, we're small mom and pop business. So um, <clears throat> you do have to have a little bit yet. Yeah, you have to be able to steer a little bit, especially to go on a two hour ride. Of course. So. so you were saying, how do I go about getting involved? If I want to come out here and ride Big John, maybe, how do I, how do I go about that? Call me. We have a website. My phone number's there. Call me, set up a reservation. Sometimes we're able to take walk-ins, but um, this time of year, I wouldn't chance it. Call me, set up a reservation. And you guys, when, when are your hours of operation and, and kind of how do you work with the weather here? <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, our first ride goes out at 10 o'clock. We uh, can take out about eight or nine people at once. Our last ride goes out at 3.30. <clears throat> we do do some customized rides, um, private rides, you know, for a little bit extra fee. Um, and we will ride if it's raining a little bit, but if it's thunder and lightning, we absolutely don't ride. If there's high winds, we have older trees. This is a very historic area. It, it used to be the original Wawanawin golf course out here. Um, so, so high winds, things like that, we don't ride. So we would have to cancel. So yeah, we're, we're really, really 
answering to the weather here. <laughs> awesome. Well, we are going to be here the rest of the morning and coming back in just a little bit later this hour. We're going to give you a sneak peek at how they take someone who's never written, maybe even a reporter, I don't know, and give them a little bit of an experience and maybe teach them the ropes a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Reporting in Ishwaming, Blair Caldwell, <laughs> TV6 News. Vicki, I know you've rode a horse. Give me a few tips. Um, just uh, hang on and let the horse go. <laughs> Heritage Hills in Ishbing gives guests the chance to ride horseback through trails that tell the history of the UP. Now TV6's Blair Caldwell joins us live from their barn this morning. Now Blair, I've never ridden a horse, but just last weekend I saw you tame a wild pony at the Blueberry Fest, so maybe take some notes, bring them back for me. You know what, Sam, I'm going to do just that because like, you need to get on one of these animals. They are majestic. I'm telling you, there, anything could happen right now. He just started backing up, and I was like, what do I do? But, of course, I'm, I'm here with good hands. I'm on Grady today, who is one of their most trusted horses. So I'm excited to be able to get to experience that. And then, of course, we're here with Joni, who is their horse handler and owner here at Heritage Hills. Talk to me, Joni, about how do you guys go about just making sure that people who ride these animals are able to handle the situation? Well, we... we try to I try to kind of get a little bit of their history their riding experience and um, and I just do the best I can there and then we'll get them on we have a little arena right behind us and we'll go do a few circles and kind of coach them how to handle their horse and um, so we'll do that before we actually hit the trail and there have been times where, hey, I, I made a mistake. I didn't match up the right person and the right horse. Well, then we can switch. We can trade while we're out there on the arena before we hit the trail. And talk to me a little bit about kind of the horses you guys got. You got 13, you were saying, yep. and they are all different kind of experiences, all of that. So yep. talk to me just a little bit about the kind of horses people will come out here and ride in. And how do you, you were giving me some pointers before we went on air here about how to hold my reins, how to steer them. Coach us through that. Well. Yes, we run through everybody. Many of our horses are neck reined, so we tell everybody, hold like an ice cream cone. You know, they want to feel the reins on their neck to go this way, their neck on his left neck to go to the right. Horses learn to move away from pressure. And um, so not all our horses are that precise. Some of them need two-handed. Um, people that ride English are more comfortable with direct reining to ride two-handed. So um, we kind of get that all figured out ahead of time. Like I said, go practice out in the arena. Um, a little kid that has never ridden, of course, we'd probably put him on Grady. Now, Big John, he's eight years old. He's primarily my lead horse. And I wouldn't put um, a very beginner on him on the trail, though he is excellent for kids in the arena for our kids camp. He's very slow, quiet, but a beginner out on the trail, he could get a little excitable. <laughs> so it's all kinds of things like this that, you know, you get to know your horses, their personality, and you try to match up that personality with a, a rider that comes here to ride. And this is, so they love each other. I'm loving this. It's so fun. <laughs> and talk to us just a little bit. What are some things if people come out here to ride with you guys? What do they need to know? How do you dress? How do you get prepared? And, and do I need to saddle up my horse? Oh, no, you don't need to saddle up your horse. The horses will be saddled up already. Um, it's always best to wear long pants. You know, we're going in the woods, brush up against sticks. There could be some bugs out there, though we don't really have very many bugs. It's been a little cool. Um, um, good sturdy shoes, boots preferably is always best. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Awesome. So if you guys want to come out here and take a ride for yourself, you can go to Heritage Hills Horsey. Woo! What's your website? How about you give us? Heritage Hills Horseback Riding. Awesome. Dot com. And you can check that out and find out their hours and all of the costs that you can do to ride someone like Grady or even Big John here if you want. So reporting live in Ishpeming, Blair Caldwell, TV6 News.